Do you have um, a favourite of your books? Um, uh, yes and no. It's just like, <laughs> like having a, a favourite child or a favourite <laughs> favorite element. Um, but I do have a soft spot for the island of the colour blind oh, okay. and Sidecat Island. I think partly because it involved romantic travel to Micronesia mm. and um, uh, and a feeling for scenery and situations and animals and plants and uh, it, it was it extended beyond the clinical mm. and uh, and it was an adventure mm. um, and so I have a specially soft feeling mm. for that a soft spot for that mm. Adam would be at home there. Yes, I'm very, I'm very colourblind, so... Are you? <laughs> yes, yeah. So you're very colourblind? Totally. Co colourblind. Oh. Uh -huh. So between, well, almost everything. <laughs> uh, purples and gre red, green, brown, the sort of standard ones. Mm. Well, they're all much the same for you? Yes, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you have se severe red-green mm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, which... But blue and yellow are fine? Uh, yes, they yeah. are. Although th it bleeds into other th purple and things like that. Yeah. Um, how did you discover this, or how was it discovered? I can remember uh, quite distinctly being at school and colouring the sky purple, uh -huh. uh, a tree trunk green, and grass brown. And, and everyone they, said, they said, what an imaginary good <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and, and not understanding why mine was different. To everybody else's, yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, everyone was sort of saying yours is, and I realised, yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, that, that was um, very much the same with uh, with Eric Wasserman. He also did a uh, uh, a painting which which made people blink. <laughs> 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 yes. Um, yeah. But but um, uh, many people, I think some people may never learn that they're different from others in that way. Others mm. and others has only picked up at an army medical or something like this. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, with the um, uh, the first book on colour blindness was written by a physician who was also a chemist and he he noticed um, he was struck by the fact that some of the students in the chemistry lab um, uh, dealing with powders and solutions made strange mistakes. They had not been making too many mistakes in real life because there were all sorts of other cues. Yes, uh, yeah. It was only when, when there were no other cues <coughs> and they had sort of pure colours. Um, yeah. There is a lovely, um, talk about case history, beautiful personal case history of colour blindness was first given by Dalton, who was a great chemist in the 1790s, and, and uh, he was, um, he thought people used colour names in an odd way, but, but he thought that was just sort of idiosyncrasy. <laughs> he, uh, he was only, um, finally, when there was a, an almost catastrophic thing, he was a Quaker, and, um, and Quakers are supposed to dress soberly for meetings and um, he arrived in what he thought was uh, the usual black robes, but they were scarlet. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then he learned that he couldn't see red. <laughs> That's definitely the hard way to learn. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he, uh, basically he, he was in a world of, of blue and yellow. Right. Um, the, he was intrigued by this and he left his eyes to science. <coughs> oh. uh, he wondered if the media in the eye were, were discolored. What well, One of the eyes was opened after his death. He lived to a good old age and no discoloration was found. The other was put away and may still be seen. It looks more like a, a dried apricot. <laughs> um, but they'd been able to do DNA analysis on it and to find that in fact he was a dichromat mm. as you might right. be yes. and, and, and missing one of the three receptors. Right. Mm. Um, but you must have various ways of dealing with this. Well, 
I yeah, found Michelle, it. perhaps you should come here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, one thing present I, yourself. I, I, I found mean, I don't do, do, do trust you have myself. Colorblindness as a condition. We don't know. No, no but, there, there you no. are. But we've already got a recruit, so. Yes. 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 But if someone shows me a strawberry, yes, uh, and says, "What colour is this?" I'll say red because I know mm. the strawberries are red. Yes. Mm. But I obviously I can't trust myself to see that it's red yes. because. Some will say actually it's green, or it's, it could be any <laughs> colour along those lines. So, yeah. yeah.